Hi, welcome to Lynn's Recipes. Today I wanted to make some peppermint bark. This is a great candy to share with friends or just to serve at Christmas time. The amounts of the ingredients that you're going to need to make this candy will be listed in the information box below or you can find it on the website. The ingredients are you're going to need some of this vanilla candy coating, and I found this at the grocery store. Um, you can also find it at craft stores sometimes. You're going to need some vanilla extract. You're going to need some crushed peppermint. And um, you might even want a little bit of extra of this so that you can sprinkle it on top once you've made the candy. You're also going to need to line a baking sheet with some wax paper. Now what you're going to want to do is get a double boiler going before you start this so that we can melt the candy. I'm going to start by breaking up the candy coating and putting it in the top of this double boiler. So here we go. Okay, now I'm ready to move on. I've set this over my simmering water and now what I'm going to do is just continuously stir this until it's all melted and smooth. My candy is all melted, so now what I'm going to do is take this off the double boiler and let it sit for just a minute before we add the extract and the peppermint so that the peppermint doesn't start melting and streak it, um, the white chocolate. Okay, I'm going to pour my extract, extract in and stir it, and now I'm going to add my peppermint. Just going to stir this all together. Makes a real pretty color in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is pull my pan over that has the wax paper on it, and I'm just going to pour this on. Try to get it all out. I'm just going to start spreading with my spoon. And it's going to be a thin layer. Sometimes what I like to do is just kind of tap it on the counter and kind of go like that and let it run. So it gets, and that gets the air bubbles out. Okay, so this is all spread out nicely and I'm going to take some extra little peppermints and just sprinkle on top just to make it pretty. You don't have to do this step if you don't want to, but I thought it would be nice. Just as much as you want. And the next step is to refrigerate this until it's hard, and then I'll show you what I do with it. My bark was in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes, and this is what it looks like. And the next step is to break this up, and it comes right off the wax paper, so all you do is just start breaking it into whatever or how big pieces you want, just like that. And I'm just going to continue on until I have it all broken apart. I finished breaking this all up, and now I'm going to put a little bit of it on this little Christmas platter to show you what it looks like. Now, if you wanted to, you could put these in like little bakery boxes that you can get at the craft store. Sometimes you can find them at the drugstore and you could package this up and you could give it as a gift to a neighbor or teacher if you wanted to. It makes a nice one. And um, you can just do as much as you want. So here we go. This is peppermint bark. I hope you enjoy it. 